Hi, today we're in a cemetery. Wonderful places for wildlife. They tend to be in the middle of our towns, our cities, and little green oases amongst our concrete and, and buildings. Great places for wildlife, not just for wildlife, but for tame, approachable wildlife that's so used to people. That's something I'm looking for a lot as a wildlife photographer, somewhere where the wildlife is habituated to people, you can get close to them. And graveyards is one of those places. And I'm told in this graveyard there's some very obliging foxes, if you can find them. I've been here a while already, I haven't seen one. But you've just got to sit it out, just keep looking, have eyes in the back of your head, because eventually one might just show up. It's behind you! It's behind you! OK, I was exaggerating about having to wait for them. These foxes, they're waiting for you when you arrive, queuing up, waiting to be photographed. There was three individuals. They were very obliging. They would go wherever I wanted them to go. Very noticeable that the one that was the most obliging was the slightly tatty one, and they got a very slight limp to it. but not at all bothered by myself or other people walking around this graveyard. You can see this fox has a bit of fur missing off its back. Whether that is mange, I'm not absolutely certain, but mange is certainly very common with foxes and it can be a very serious problem for them too. Bristol is renowned for the number of foxes in its city, but apparently about 20 years ago there was an outbreak of mange there and they lost about 95% of the city foxes, but they've recovered since then. When I'm talking to my friends, who are mostly wildlife photographers, I'm always trying to encourage them to shoot video. And then I say to them, well, once you get into video, quickly move on to slow motion video, because wildlife in slow motion just looks fantastic. This is 120 frames per second, so it's roughly five times slow. And I just love that effect. This fox just looks so different to how you would normally see it. Let's try it on the grass. What I really wanted here was the fox to run at me at speed, but it wasn't. It was a quick walk. I didn't manage to get them running. That would be far better if all the feet were off the floor at the same time. I like the way the head keeps bouncing up and down as they walk. So let's look at a few stills pictures. This is the slightly tatty one. And it's always good to get more than one fox in the same area because then you start to get some interaction. Being aggressive to each other. It would be nice to be here in the spring when there's cubs about. Eyeing up that magpie. After about an hour's photography, I did change the eye tracking from bird to animal, although that should be mammal, and I think it did improve it slightly. I could see the autofocus jumping onto the eye better than it had been. Now, although I'm no longer able to make a living at my wildlife photography, I still have an income from it, and it still offsets the, the cost of doing it, and I've still got that mindset of what I've got to do. I'm photographing this fox, I take a picture, I want it small in the frame, medium in the frame, large in the frame. Then I want it vertically, and I want medium, small and large in the frame vertically too. I want the fox looking to the left, looking to the right. I want the fox in the habitat, I want it on the road, I want it on the grass, I want it with gravestones behind it. I want it with that litter bin. Everything you can think of. You want a variety of pictures when you are trying to make money at it, and I still try to make money at it. I just end up making a loss at it every year now, but it's still a worthwhile income. Around this cemetery there's a lot of litter bins and the foxes are clearly aware of what a litter bin is. 
and if they see someone or hear someone walking towards a litter bin they hear the rustle of paper their ears are very sensitive to this and they pick it up very very quickly he's heard something and it goes straight towards the bin It took me a while to get this picture and in some ways I wish I'd been shooting video at the time but interesting to watch how it climbs down. When you're shooting at the best part of 30 frames per second that you get with the Sony A1 you see how little the fox moves between shots. This is using the GoPro Hero 9 on the end of a selfie stick. Amazing little cameras and so cheap. And the quality of the footage they take at 4K is stunning. And it gives you a different perspective. You can take video or stills. Unfortunately my reflection was in that picture. I've been both taking stills pictures and video which I say I always find very difficult to do you keep missing the shot that you really wanted as video when you're shooting stills and vice versa but the foxes have been here consistently so I've had time to, to do both I'm using the Sony A1 with the 200 to 600 at the moment but a lot of the time I've been using the Olympus with the 40 to 150 zoom lens because the foxes come so close to you far too close for this lens on the whole big difference between the two cameras the Olympus is fine for the autofocus with a, a fairly static subject like this and um, this is the Sony is far superior when it comes to birds in flight but for just a fox running about the Olympus autofocus is good enough for that but the difference in the viewfinder is, is enormous this viewfinder is so clear they do say it's as clear as an optical viewfinder. It's been a long time since I used an optical viewfinder, but I suspect that is right. As I remember it, it is as clear. And as soon as I use the Olympus, ah, it's more like you're looking for a Guinness bottle. Seems really dark. Today, I think, is the 24th of October, and on the 27th of October, Olympus are supposed to make an announcement. I do hope they're bringing out a new camera that catches up somewhat with the Sony A1, the Canon R5 and R6 and as with so many wildlife photographers I do like to get down on the floor so I'm level with my subject always makes them look more dramatic and I'll just finish off with a handful of stills pictures Thanks for watching.